Tal, welcome back to the show. It's so good to have you here. I, I, in it, in it. All over again, okay? <laughs> Take two. I have to tell you something. It's because of you. I can speak English, not fluently, but English. But when I see you, I don't know what's happening. It's like, oh my God. Do we make you nervous? Yes, I don't want to make mistakes. No, this is it. No, no. Now, you but, know this is going to be part of the podcast. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everything will be okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. It's so good to have you on the show again. I'm so glad that you're here with us in Israel. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for inviting us. And it's been almost two years, hasn't it, since we last sat down to talk together over a podcast. Yeah. It was in Thailand last time. A lot warmer than it is now. A lot <laughs> warmer yeah <laughs> tomorrow it's going to be like in thailand everything is will be okay tomorrow is going to be warm you're lying to us the sun will come out tomorrow but it's not hot like in thailand. <laughs> okay <laughs> i tried <laughs> and so much has happened since uh we met in thailand wow so much yeah you know we were talking about the documentary film one angry vegan which was just coming out around that time and you also took part in a reality tv show here in israel like a an Israeli equivalent of wife swap in the US or the UK or what have you. Yeah. Uh, and now, more recently, the biggest change in your life is getting involved in politics. Yeah. Tell us all about that. How did it happen? Well, I, how did it happen? Start from the start. Yeah. <laughs> um, almost one and a half years ago, what we did is uh, undercover slot, uh, investigation in Haifa Slaughterhouse. Mm-hmm. There was an undercover investigator who was working there almost for nine months. And after we just we said that we we're going to upload all the undercover investigation, but we know what people do. What they do, they just turn off the television. They don't want to see. They don't want to see the hard uh, pictures and everything that's going on in the slaughterhouse. And we know what's going on in the, inside of the slaughterhouse. And we started to think how to, to take this undercover um, investigation and to make it the biggest that we can, the powerful, the effective. So we raised something like a quarter of a million shekels. Mm-hmm. Wow. And what we did is a huge bill of boards here in Israel about this uh, undercover uh, investigation. We covered 270 buses. Wow. Yeah. And what we did is uh, short videos about celebs from Israel who are watching this undercover uh, investigation. And a lot of people, because they don't want to see the, all this hard uh, evidence, so they can watch the celebs. See their reaction to yeah. the footage instead yeah. of watching the footage directly themselves. Exactly. That's a great idea. Very clever. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people, they, have to, they can see the disaster when they, it comes from another human being. Yeah. Yes. So when you see the reaction of those people and they were crying and starting to, to shout and a lot of things. And um, it made a huge impact, not only in Israel, even uh, in the UK and uh, in the US. A lot of people took these uh, things and just uploaded in plant-based news mm-hmm. and all this kind of uh, uh, websites. And I, I asked from the Prime Minister's son to, to take part of our, um, one of our video. At first he told me that he's not going to take part of it because he's not taking part of any public uh, um, campaigns. Yeah. He's not getting interview with no one because uh, nobody can get to him. And, uh, and he told me, I know who you are. I know your, your job. You're doing excellent job. Thank you for everything that you do, but I'm not going to take part of it. After two months, he wrote me, no, he told me he's vegetarian. Mm-hmm. And this is the prime minister's son. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't, uh, I told him, wow, way to go, blah, blah, blah. But it's not me. Mm. When someone tell me that he's a veget- vegetarian, I'm not saying, oh, good for you. And that's it. I'm going to tell him why he should be vegan. <laughs> That's but, very unlike you, Tal. Like, yeah. I can never imagine how you would do that. I know, I know. <laughs> so it took, me, it took me two days, but after two days, I sent him another message, and I gave him the Glass Walls lecture, our lecture, which is the most viewed lecture in Israel. It's got almost three million views. Wow. Yeah. And uh, 
I told him, I know that you are veget- vegetarian, but you have to be vegan. I have to tell you that I, uh, it took me two days to write you a message because you are the prime minister's son and I don't know how to... Speak to you. Yeah, I... I, I, I Communicate. I'm not politically correct. Yeah. I, I don't... The manners... It's not... You say it as it is. You call a spade a spade, as we say in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think he, I made him laugh. Because, Good. <laughs> yeah. And he told me, thank you. I will watch it. And that's it. Two months later, he wrote me a message. He was in a tour in the... In another part of Israel. Sure. And he, he was inside of a farm, goat farm. Mm-hmm. And he saw, you know... Two little goats yeah. without um, uh, mothers, without their mothers, and he just uploaded to his uh, profile uh-huh. and oh. said, "Please don't eat meat." Wow. Oh wow! And then he sent me a message and told me, "I want to help you." Oh, what a story! Wow. So he had to have that experience to see it for himself, to feel it in his heart. And then he could commit to you. Yeah. That's amazing. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So after two months, we met. 